We're going to do some kitchen science today and I like to call this one rainbow foam. So the first thing you'll need is some kind of a tray, plate, bowl, whatever you have on hand. You're going to need some vinegar. And you're going to, if you have it, food coloring. If you don't have it, that's just fine. You can do this without the color. And then I'm going to my refrigerator. I've got a box of baking soda that I actually don't need anymore and thought this is a perfect way to use it. And I'm also going to use a little bit of dish soap and this is optional. If you don't have any on hand, that's just fine. And then I'm getting some small containers. Whatever you have on hand is fine. I have these three little glass bowls. And I'm going to be pouring the vinegar into each bowl, not all the way, just maybe about a quarter of a cup in each, um, or whatever you have available is just fine. This is a great way to promote some math skills. You can measure out the vinegar, or here I'm pouring some into a larger bowl, and then I'm going to divide it between the three bowls. I'm then going to take the food coloring and I'm going to color the vinegar in each bowl. And again, you can take advantage of this moment by counting the number of drops that go into the bowl and really encouraging your child to observe what happens when you drop the color in. It's really exciting because the color kind of makes this swirly cloud of color. This, this in itself is very exciting. So I'm going to count out the drops. And then I'm going to find something to stir it with. And I actually have a lot of little skewers, so I'm just gonna use a little skewer to stir up the vinegar and mix the color together. And again, whatever you have on hand will be perfect and just fine. So now I have some blue vinegar. And now I'm going to make some violet vinegar. And oh, it kind of looks a little brown, but you know what, that's okay. Maybe it's not gonna go as I planned, but we're really wanting to focus on the process of this happening and not making everything perfect the way that I want it to be. So this is just fine. And now I'm going to put in some yellow and it, oop, it looks like there's actually a little swirl of blue in my bowl and that's okay. So I'm gonna add the yellow. This is a very exciting transformation. So what happens when I add yellow to blue? Oh, I've got green. So now I have three colors of vinegar. And also you can focus on the smell. It definitely has a strong smell. And I'm adding a tiny bit of dish soap to each bowl, teeny tiny little bit. And then I'm gonna just mix it kind of gently And now my vinegar is ready. I'm gonna set that aside. I'm gonna wipe up my spills. As you know, food coloring can stain a little bit, so just wiping it up will, will take care of the mess. And now I'm going to take my plate and I'm going to pour a nice little mountain of baking soda onto my plate. Just kind of spread it out a little bit. Just like that. And now I'm just going to look for any kind of small spoon that I can use to scoop the vinegar onto the baking soda. You'll want it to be something kind of small because if it's something really big, then this activity will go by really fast. And we really want your child to be able to explore.
So now your child is taking their little spoon and scooping vinegar onto the baking soda and this really exciting reaction is happening. What happens when we combine baking soda and vinegar? Some children might say, oh, it's like soda. And it is, this is called effervescence. And they're teeny tiny little bubbles of gas. We can drop some of it on top and the colors will start to mix a little bit together. And it's such an exciting reaction to see. And you can talk about all of the senses. What does it look like? What do you see? What do you hear? Even you could say, what does it feel like? And some children will like to touch it and it feels very cold. And when they put their ear up next to it, they might even hear the little bubbles popping and fizzing. And they can even use their spoon to continue to kind of mix it together. And you'll see there's some, some baking soda there. And so you can add some more vinegar and just really enjoy this process together of creating and seeing what happens. And here we have it, rainbow foam.